What is that sound you ask? Welcome to the Rec Show Podcast, a show dedicated to beat makers around the world. Kick back, relax with the host, Golden Mind. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event Check, check, one, two, peace and love, everybody. Golden Mind here for the Rec Show Podcast, man. We got a special edition. Special edition, my guys. Yo, we talking we about the, we talking about a B um beat for Sations. All right. So when I do beat for Sations, y'all already know we talking about an amazing producer, beat maker. But also, we're talking about their album that they're about to put out, man. We're just giving y'all little teasers. That's what Beat for Sations is all about, man. So um, just a little just a little spin off of just the conversations word and all that type of stuff. But yo, today, man, we're going to Chicago. You know what I mean? We're talking about a, a representative of the Chicago beat scene, Flipper Beat Club in Chicago. We're talking about Duck World Chicago. We're talking about... Uh, beat makers toolbox um which is also a new um how do i want to say this man it's like a, a a beat event for for beat makers music producers composers and the the, the man i like the, what i've been hearing about this event is nothing like it that they've ever seen man i'm talking about from the venue i'm talking about to the to the you know just the interactions to the networking i'm talking about to the drinks to the food trucks i'm talking about all that man yo we talking to the one and only beat sniff himself b4 lasers what's good family hey yo man listen yo we we been trying to get this for two weeks man we finally was able to do it man Yo, don't hit me, man. Don't hit, <laughs> don't hit me, bro. Dodge, man. We've been through it all, through the trenches, but we made it, baby. Yeah, we made it, man. Listen, man. Yo, we, yo, you got a new album coming out, man. But before we yes. get into the album, man, I got to talk to you, man. I got to tell you, man. I've been seeing your work, man, and I'm super proud of you, man. Like, super duper. Like, we talked... Late, late last year, man. So late last year, almost a year. It'd be a year in December, man. It'd be a year. And what you've done with the Flip a B Cup community to the Duck World Chicago community, um, to the to your event, your beeps uh, makers event, which is uh Beat Makers Toolbox. Yo, man. Toolbox, man. Man, yo, I'm super yo. I'll, let me clap it up for you, my guy. That's a lot of work, man. Let me clap it up for you, my guy. Like, I'm super proud of you, man. Like, yo, you've been a busy, busy guy. Unique studios you, you running, you know what I mean? Like, yo, man, you've been doing it, man. How how you keeping up with the energy to do all of this, man? Man, drink water. <laughs> I drink it, you know what I'm saying? And take mental breaks. Eat some sorbet. 
Mm. I'm eating mango sorbet right now, just chilling. You mm. know, um, that's what it takes. You know, um, stay hydrated, stay relaxed, <clears throat> and um, love what you do, bro. Do it with passion. Um, mm. A lot of cats, um, they do stuff for the, you know, for the bread <clears throat> immediately. <laughs> for not even for the money before what they can gain out of it you know what i'm saying and yeah true life is like a barter system this whole shit is a business you know what i mean it's a barter system we, what i can do for you what you can do for me what we can do for each other yeah all that's true but if you don't do that shit with passion bro and love you know what i mean you do it from a stance of passion love and respect for one another bro that shit you won't be able to keep up mm, right man Listen, the passion gotta be. It can't be for the dope, for the dope, man. Like, yo, man, you've been working. You were putting that work, work in, bro. Like, yo, man, That's right, man. Beatmaker's toolbox was um crazy successful. So I'm really happy about that. Um, that was a uh, that's my new that's a new event that we've decided to do every three months. Um, we. For now, I believe we're gonna get me and my wife. We're gonna continue to do it at um, Miyagi Records, but um, we—you never know. We want to keep it fluid. We—we we were almost out of space last time, man. We had like forty people. Yo, it was up. packed in there. It was packed I in know. there. I even had uh, the homie. <laughs> shout out the homie Easy Web, Easy Web 2004, man. Bro, drove all the way up from St. Louis, fam. You know what I mean? Just to come through and you know cook up with us. And be a part of the event. It was super crazy. Like um a lot of planning, you know, listening to your listening to my wife, man, you know what I mean? Not being hard headed. A lot of that and it and it, it, it really helped. You know, the beat makers toolbox. Um what I what I'm really trying to have that be is just um that that the watering hole. You know what I mean? Like not just mm-hmm. um not just like a place where we come and we cook up beats. You know, or not just the open aux where every it's just loud and banging, and you, you can't really talk to anybody because the music is at you know on a hundred the whole time. Like, right. nah, man, we want I want the beat makers toolbox to be um, just that safe space, that watering hole that comes around every couple of months. You pull up, it's like a party. It's reminding you that you got friends out here, you got homies out here, you ain't by yourself out here. We kicking it. We got free food. You know what I mean? Like, shout out Beat Sneaks and Eats. We had the chef in the building cooking up tacos to order. You know I mean? That's crazy. Straight up. I had a case, of, not just a case, but an entire cooler of beer. You know what I mean? For free. Drinks, sodas, water. Water. Man, you don't know how many parties I go to and it ain't no water, cuz. Be like, yo, <laughs> dang, bro. Like, this, this, you just wake up and drink Miller Lite. You know what I mean? So like um <laughs> right <laughs> sodas, juice, water, bro, like stuff for the kids. Like um it was it was it was awesome, man. It was beautiful, man. It had a beautiful turnout. Um yes, it was it was worth it, bro. And I and I will we'll be doing it again. We're doing it in December. Man. Man, so yo, listen. <clears throat> so for the internet, man, if y'all don't know, man, I need y'all to go follow. Click the link in the description of the show, man. Um, you can go to B4 Lasers link tree and just yo, just ch- tap in with everything you're doing, man. Like the way the way you put your visuals together, the way you like, you know, what I mean, D- just your excitement in your videos when you're talking about these events coming up and um, you know, the music, the albums, like everything. Yo, it get me crazy. How I'm like, yo, I gotta go make a beat right now. Like, I wish I was there in Chicago, bro. <laughs> yeah, I wish you would have been here too. You know, there's always an open seat for you, bro. When you pull up, there will be an open spot for you, dog. You know that. Yeah. Appreciate that, man. Yo, man. So listen, man. I just had to I just had to give you your flowers, bro. Like I I've, I've been seeing you, man. I, and, and we talk on we talk on IG, you know, um all the time, man. I'll let you know right off the bat. Like, yo, you you doing some amazing work, man, and However, I can support. Boom, I'm supporting you, bro. So, whatever you need, the Rex Show podcast is gonna be there for you. Gold Mine is there for you. you know what I mean, you got my personal number, so you already know. Just chirp, chirp, and I'm getting. I'm there. That's yeah. why. That's why I love you, bro. You, you, you're a real one, man. You never been. 
one of the effect you hold it down for people man. for us as artists musicians man you show us a lot of love plus you're an amazing musician yourself so for all the people listening right now yes you with the headphones on listening right now listening in the whip with your girl right now make sure you slide the gold mines ig hit the link in his bio go buy his album go support what he's doing you know what i'm saying straight like that Straight like that, yeah. I appreciate that. I, yeah, I'm out here trying, man. Like y'all giving me mad juice in the battery, man. Just to be like, yo, man. Like just to try different things. Just hearing y'all. Like when I was listening, um, watching the clips from your um, your launch of the uh, Beatmakers Toolbox. Just w- listening to everybody's like beats, yo. I was like, yo, man. Like holy shit, yo. Like that's what's cooking up, man. Up, it was a really good time, man. Um, even when we do flip a beat, club, like it's all it's all always a beautiful time. Like everybody works real hard, man, to make some of the best beats that they can, you know. And and, and they pull up and they show out, bro. Mm-hmm. straight up, man. And it's it's awesome, man. Like the last flip a beat club we had. The um, um, most amount of uh, producers I've seen in the Chicago scene yet. Uh, pull, pull up, I believe we had 18 or 19 beat makers on site, along with other friends and family that came to like just hang out and enjoy the music and enjoy the food. We had a chef there too. You know, I mean, I tried to have a chef pull up for that too, man. I be trying. I make sure homies is fed. You know what I mean? And, <laughs> yeah. Bro, Yo, man. Yo, man. Yo, like, that is... that. Yo, that is... um, Man, you're taking it back to a feeling of, like, soul food. You know what I mean? Like, you, you know what I mean? Like, the movie, like... Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, everything yeah. was warm. Everything was family. You know what I mean? Yep. Man. Really my angle, you're not alone <sighs> out here. Man. Yo, y'all here, y'all here to admit, yo, y'all not alone out here, man. Just remember that, man. Thanks. Man. Thanks. Yo, we got to talk about this new album, man. October 14th. October 14th. I, I, is it 13th? Hold on, let me get my days right. October 13th. Yeah. Album release date for yes, this new joint called Growing Pains with a Z at the end of Pains, yo. Um... Bruh, I listened to it twice. You just gave me this joint, man. And I I had to run it back twice, yo. Like if I could yeah. if I had more time, I probably would have read it back four more times, yo. Listen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Listen, bruh. Yo, we gonna go through the album, man. Track by track. Just, you know what I mean? Give them a little bit of snippet, you know what I mean? Just a little tease, a little some breadcrumbs. Talk about it. And then reel up. And we gonna talk about the tracks from here there, but Yo, know, can you talk about the genesis, the 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 origin of Growing Pains that's going to be coming out October 13th on Bandcamp? I think you have the Bandcamp listening session on the 12th of October. So I'm signed up for that already, you know. So I'm already there. I believe but, it's a, uh, uh, let me see. I'll just tell you right now. It is the listening party is set for. We are set to do it for. The listening party is actually it's October thirteenth. Yeah, but literally the day it comes out. So Man. It drops. and at noon uh, Central Time, like 10, 10 a.m. Um, you know uh, Pacific, one p.m. Eastern. You know wherever you at Mountain Time. I don't remember what that is. I think that's like. 2 p.m. or something like that, you know, whatever it is, but mm-hmm. 12 p.m. Central Time, we are going to be live on um, on uh, Bandcamp, yep, and uh, I'll be live from Cali, too, because I'll be in Cali at the time. We're coming <coughs> out the Duck World one-year event. We need to get to that yet. Coming to Cali, man. I'm going to <laughs> right back to Cali. Do, do, do. Yeah, man. Yo, talk about this Cali visit that you're about to you're about to um you embark on man what's that all about man? well uh real quick um we all know the homie duck girl 808 yeah shout out to duck girl yeah, yeah duck world 
in the whole duck world, man, and no Ricky, slow 90, you know, um, so <clears throat> Duck Girl uh, created a community called Duck World Italy um, about uh, coming up on one year ago, um, mm. and she's doing a one year um, birthday party, basically, for the Duck World as a whole, and we're basically off in a link up. There's mad people, all of the supporters of Duck World, um, people in Duck World, and it's going to be a crazy um, show of instrumentalism, love, rapping, kicking it, like food, drinks, chill, like vibes. It's going to be amazing. Um, and I'll be there live in effect, man. I'm playing a whole set. You know, I'm also going to be uh, popping out at A Love Supreme. I uh, love Supreme and playing with them too as well on uh, Sunday. So it's lit, man. We outside. Man, you got you teaming up with the, the, the powerhouses right now, man. Like you got Flipper B Club, you got your joint, man, the B Makers Toolbox, you got I Love Supreme, you got Duck World, you about man. Everybody is doing some amazing things, man. Shout out to I Love, I love Supreme California. You know what I mean? In Ontario, California. <laughs> and then, um, yo, Duck Girl. I just talked to um, Duck Girl because she came out with the pins. So I, I had to snatch up two of them joints. Um, you know, show my show my support for Duck World. And, um, man, she's going to be on the show one day, man. So, I, you know, we, we talking about chopping it up right now and trying to get her you on. You got to do that, man. You got to do that. She's man. Too, she's too ill. Yeah, man. So... Yo, man, y'all stay tuned to B4 Lasers, man, socials, man. He, I, I'm pretty sure you're going to be shooting content, you know what I mean? And, um... Outside, man. You don't see, you don't see plenty, man. If I, if I do a beat set from the beach, you heard? <laughs> yeah, yo, that's, yo, who's doing beat sets at the beach, yo, besides, you know, Sarah 2 L. That's the only person I've seen do a beat set at the beach, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But, yo, man, let's talk about... Growing Pains, man. The genesis of this album, man. Like, how did this album even come to be? This would be your fourth, fourth full length release, too. So, let's talk about this album, man. What, what, what's this? How did this album first start? And then we'll, I'll get into some more questions after we get done talking about the first question. Yeah. Okay. Um, I bet. So, Growing Pains. Growing Pains is a it's an adventure of a project, man. Um, a bunch of this stuff is made on the SP404. And a bunch of this stuff is made before I had the 404 still, man, when I was just using Koala Sample. Um, I have been <clears throat> making beats for a long time now, as we all know. And I've grown through a lot. I've been through a lot of different um, avenues, peaks, valleys. Um, ups, downs, turnarounds you know, in life, in my musical journey um, that have led me to this album right here, which is why I named it Growing Pains. I flipped um, I flipped a record um, for Growing Pains. I wish I remember the name of all the songs that I sampled, but I can't keep them all in my head because <laughs> I sampled too many songs. I'm a record digger and you know, hunter of sounds, but the song that I did flip for Grown Pain, um, with that Grown I know the now, it right? Was like, yeah, it was like, now I'm learning how, you know, I was just like, man, like I feel that, and I've always felt that, and I've had that beat in the chamber for a while. And when I was listening to it, uh, with my wife, um, I was like, I think I know what I'm about the album. She was like, what? I think Growing Pains. I was like, I've grown through a lot, I've been through a lot. I mean, look at me now versus just a year ago. You know what I mean? When I talked to you or like just about a year ago when we talked last, look how much I've grown, you know, and, and picture how much I've grown since I've been making music since I already told you, like 2006, 2007. I've grown so mm -hmm. much. And that's, um, yeah, that's where that, that sprung from. That beat really talked to me. And um, I stuck with that name, Growing Pains, because we all go through them. Right, man, it's it is definitely <clears throat> that's another one like the title, and then just listening to the first single, uh, "Growing Pains," man, I was like, man, yeah, I just I just listening to it, I'm like, yo, man, we about to go on a ride, yo. So 
you're about to go on a ride where you could just put this on and just cruise man like and just start contemplating on your own journey you know what i mean like all the stuff that you've been through all the stuff that you made it through as well that's right man so okay let's talk let's let's get into the first track it's called in my head man so um and and and, ah man i gotta talk to um there was some people i gotta recognize man i gotta recognize these people that helped you uh with this album as well man so um birthplace was on the vocals ryan sevenson is on the trumpet or the first track that joint is fire by the way i love trumpets anyway so and then um unique monique which is the which is the wifey you know me a and r management doing her thing unique studios man so yo how'd you get how'd you get in link with you know birthplace ryan sevenson and uh, well, of course you your wife who's i don't know how long you've been with her but Unique Monique, y'all building some crazy, uh, some crazy stuff um, within your own family circle, man. So it's good to see that too. Yeah, man. It, uh, love is a is a beautiful thing, man. So that's that's she's she's my biggest supporter, um, and she always she's always pushing me to continue to be great and continue to do better. So um, for birthplace, um, that's actually uh, that's the homie, man. He's from Texas as well. Shout out Texas. Shout out to Texas. He's in Austin. <clears throat> and um, this was a record that he had, that he made a long time ago. Um, and I always, I loved that song. Like, I was like, dude, this is like, you know, but it's like one of his, it's like underrated, you know. Dude's a phenomenal singer, you know, and, and producer. And I asked him, like, yo, man, can you clear this for me, bro? Like, can I flip this? You know, he was like, yeah, bro, before, of course, man. You know, I mixed for him. I mixed, like, his latest single that, his latest two singles that have come out. His last one, um, his big splash when he dropped was um, Girls Just Love Me, you know, which was a banger. So, uh, when you get time, everybody listening, make sure you go check that out. Support the homie Birthplace. That's with two eyes. Um, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so I flipped that, and that, that's how I came across the In My Head joint. And then um, I use, I'm a huge advocate for uh, Sound Better. Uh, Sound Better is one of my uh, favorite uh, platforms. I'm a mixing engineer on that platform. I have over 350 five star reviews uh, for mixing for clients all over the world. Um, and I also not just mix for clients, but also work with musicians as well to get ideas across for other clients that I might be working with or get ideas across for myself hence working with Ryan Svetson and um or Svendison um, so I could do terrible <laughs> right <laughs> I was taking a guess on that joint yeah. facts shout out to homie Ryan S <laughs> <laughs> um, he uh yeah man he, he came through and he killed it adding uh, beautiful trumpets all over that, all over that record man and that really just uh to help bring it to life so Man, yeah, man. All right, look, let's get let's get into the first track, man. We're gonna give y'all a little breadcrumb real quick so y'all can um so y'all can hear what y'all about to be in for on October 13th B4 Lasers Band Camp, man. Growing pains. Let's get into it, yo. Let's do it. Okay, so uh these are brand new songs that uh, very few people have heard. Um, very much about, very much you know, what I've, uh, I've been going through. I've been going through. I've been... That's it. That's it. Real up. Real up. Real up. In there and out of there. You know what I'm saying? In and you know out, man. Saying? Listen, yes, the, the drums, man. The drums, but the melody with the the singing. The, oh, man. Yo, man. It puts you in that mood already. First track, off the jump, yo. Yeah, already. It's, it's not so simple. 
No, I didn't even get it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Stop it, yeah. bro. Yo, Stop man. It. Yo, this is this is gonna be one of them joints, man, that's like, yo, the replay value is gonna be super high, bro. Yo, he gonna have cassettes. I'm and he got the merch already lined up, man. So y'all can pre-order everything right now on his band camp. Get your cassette, get your digital download, get you know what I mean? The merch. I'm pretty sure you're gonna have some um some portraits like you have for uh uh Amon Atori. Oh, yeah. Amori Atori. Eternal. Eternal. So this yeah. time this time I'm actually so this is what I'm doing. I came out heavy to um to do uh I came out a lot of money, man, to do my last like to do my last like the, that last big run and I felt like it was a lot of bread invested. Like I'm, I, I did, you know, bounce back. I made my money back, but it was too much invested. Like, comfort. Um, it was a little uncomfortable. Mm. So this time, I just focused on. I'm just focusing on cassettes. So I'm gonna do a 50 run of cassettes that were all handmade by me and O'Ricky. Shout out to homie O'Ricky out in uh, oh. Sacktown. Sacktown O'Ricky. <clears throat> So I don't know, Ricky. So I'm going to focus with, with that. May, maybe I'll do posters if it's, I'll do prints if uh, I see some people that want one because I've gotten better with art um, and creating my art and <clears throat> using different platforms to create uh, all of the artwork, which um, you can see for Grand Pains. I know that's the In My Head single, which drops in uh, a few hours. But um, all of the artwork I've been making, I've made by myself. So, um, I've gotten better at it. I'm able to. I'm able to. I've gotten better at it. Uh, I'm able to get the, uh, the artwork at a much a higher resolution, so that mm. I can make the prints bigger, which is what I wanted to do. I couldn't do that with uh, Fool's Paradise and Carpe Diem because when I was making the art, I didn't know that the pixels need to be massive for it to relate to how big it's going to be when printed. So it's like mm. a huge difference, right? It's like you think 3,000 pixels is big, and it's really, in reality, when you go to print it, it's pretty small. So, um, yeah, so I'm super excited to, to maybe do some prints. If some people are interested, go mine, I'll get you a print because you're the homie, I'm just gonna make one for you. You, you, nah, I, I, and, and I appreciate that, fam, but I still gotta support you. Know what I mean, because it's an investment in you to keep going, you know what I mean? So I appreciate that, man. It means a lot, bro. Seriously. Yeah, man. Yo, it's my pleasure, my honor, man, just to be a part of, you know what I mean, your journey, man. Like, yo, man. You, you know? So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the print. I'm gonna get the cassette, because you know, I love cassettes. You know what I mean? It brings me back to my childhood when I was catching the New Jersey transit to the, you know, to Broadway to go talk to the bootleggers. Like, yo, let me get that new. You know what I mean? Outcast with our new Let me get that Fuji. DMX, dog. Let me get <laughs> yes. that hell is, what hell is hot. What he said? Yeah. 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 Um, you know, so, yeah, man, it just bring me back to that, man. So that's a, the, the feeling of holding the music is way different than just you know, going to Apple or going to Spotify or Tidal and just click and play. You know what I mean? Like, it just, it means more to me. That's just me, though. So. 100%. Also, before I forget... Um, I need to I need to rewrite I need well not rewrite but I need to add the, into the description um, of the album. Um, shout out my homie uh, and good friend Curtis Holly um, from Colorado. He's actually playing the bass on in my head as well. Um, I just noticed that that's not in there. I did so much writing when creating those descriptions. I, for, I don't know how I skipped over my head, but that's live bass as well that you hear on in my head. That's being played. Um, and shout, so shout out the homie Curtis Holly and his thing, Lavender Lane Productions. I appreciate you, bro. You always been rocking with me for a really long time. So yeah, shout out for that. Yeah, man. Yo, that baseline is crazy. <laughs> the baseline is crazy. Bro's a wizard on that. Thing. Yo, man. Okay, yo. Let's get into. Let's get into since I met you, which is, yo, right off the bat, yo, I can see me hit, hitting. You know what I mean? You know, on the on the on a on a repeat when you repeat and just repeat that one track. Like this is one of those joints, man. Like I can just run this back like 15, 20 times and it's still smash, man. And 
Yo, man. So let's talk about since I met you, yo. What is this track about, yo? Since I met you, man. Let's see. Since I met you, man, I believe. Play it first. Play okay. It first, okay. Okay, bet. All right, hold on one sec. All right, so everybody, internets, man, we going to Since I Met You, man. Just a little snippet into this joint, man. Hope y'all enjoy it, man. Turn this, turn this, turn this up, yo. Turn this up in your radios, man. That's it. That's all y'all get. Real love. <laughs> Yo. You know, I already know what I'm feeling so much. Since I met you, man. Since I met you it was one of my first beats on the SP404, actually, bro. When I got it. Um, this was that was shit. That was probably like beat number like, like four, three or four on the SP. And um I remember I was hunting on um on uh, I believe I was on Spotify like trying to find some heat to flip and I came across uh, I came across that which I, I think damn who is the group hold on um well I came across that that record and it was um and it was it was so good like on my love to you. and I was just like mm. no yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta, man. I have to flip this, and um, and that, that's what, yeah, man. It was just, it's really about just giving all your love to to that one person, that one thing, you know, pouring it into that person, and that's what that's really what this beat is about for me. Hence, why the why his name, um, since I met you, you know, because Yo. since I met my wife. <laughs> Since I'm at, you know, this community, things have really uh, have changed for such a such a better, so much bigger, so much great things have come from it, and um, yeah, that's that's most definitely where that came from and where it stems from. Yo, yo, man, that's <laughs> yo, man, that's what it is, man. Since I met you, yo, we only two tracks in, and we already slapping us, yo. Come on, breath. Come on, bro. So, okay, listen, when people put this on, what do you want them to, like, do? Like, do, do you want them to just put it on and do housework? Or should they or should they sit their ass down, smoke something, drink something, and just chill and vibe out to this joint, you know? Well, you know, it's, um, I think the first time you listen to it, you should sit down, you should relax. You know what I mean? Maybe hit, maybe, maybe wait till it's evening outside. You know what I mean? Hop in the whip, take a spin. You know what I mean? Hit the highway. You know, and just enjoy this. Take it in and enjoy that. You've went through these growing pains as well. You know, you see what I'm saying? You mm-hmm. had someone as well that changed everything. You know, and, 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 and now it's all coming to me too about since I met you. So it's about, it's really about, yes, since I'm the dedication, man. Dedicating all your love. That's the record. Dedicate my love to you i think it's raw soul will express and that was the record man what i was just was like it was like when i heard that i dedicate all my love for to you i was like yo and uh, it was a rare joint like it wasn't super pop it wasn't like this super popular song that like, had millions and millions of plays and a lot of purchases and it was just something I found, you know, hunting along and um Yeah. Yeah, man. Since I met you it was a very special joint to me, dog. That's why it's track number two. 
Yo, man, that is an incredible joint, man. We two tracks in, everybody. Internets, we talking to B4 Lasers, man. B Makers Toolbox founder. You know what I mean? Chicago stand up right now. You know what I mean? Yo, Flip a B Club affiliate, man. Like, yo. Young host. Yeah, you know man. <laughs> you that flyer now, B, you heard? Shout out to me and Mons Rock, man. I love y'all niggas, man. Yeah, man. Yo, shout out to DB and Mons, man. Doing something crazy. Yo, Flipper B Club with the trademark. You know what I mean? So, yo, nobody else can take that. This is B culture, man. That's a win for B culture, for music, for hip hop. I said that on my on my um on my IG, and I mean that shit. Like, yo, ain't nobody else doing the shit we do, that they doing, and that they inspiring others to do. You know what I mean? So. Yo, you got to give them they flowers, man. Salute to both of them, man. And, and, the, and the entire team, the chapters that's around the world. You know what I mean? You just got another one, I think, in Houston. Um, where else? There's another one somewhere, man. I'm try- I just hard to keep up with all the chapters, man. Um, they all over, man. They all over. Yeah. Yeah, they all over. But yo, yo, man, let's get into, what's that? Agave love? I think that's how you say it, right? Agave love. Yeah, let's 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 play this real quick. We're gonna talk about this. <laughs> We're gonna talk about this joint too, man. So let's get into Agave Love, yo, from the album Growing Pains, coming out October 13th, man. So Agave Love, let's get it. That joint is, yeah, it's melodic, but it take you on a like, it make you want to look at the stars, dog. Like it's, yeah, man, yo. So let's talk about agave love, man. Like, how, where this, where this? I, I know you was sample digging, man. You was searching, you found this joint, man. This one, I was, I'm telling you, I had just got the SP, bro. This was most definitely a, um, that was a. I started this job um, that I still got now. Shout out to the homies. Um, and it's it it my first job where I could, like, make beats at work. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could, like, mm. do my... As long as I was doing my job, like, they didn't really trip about me, like, mm. making beats. So, like, <clears throat> I would listen to just music, like, all day. I'd be on Bandcamp, like, hunting, um, Spotify hunting. And this is another record, like I said. If I could remember every single sample I flip, man, I would my my head would be five times the size. <laughs> yeah. um, but this one was very special, man. I remember I did cook this up at work, and the reason why I named it that, right? Okay, I love. Um, the reason why I named it that was agave is sweet, right? But it also it also is used to make things like tequila, right? Right, right. It reminds me of how love is sweet. At times, it stings. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of what that reminds me of. It makes me feel like I'm floating. But at the same time, I just I, I, these things I remember. You know, these things I've we've all been through. Like I said, growing pains. All the topics are about growing pains and the things that we go through, right? Um, everybody's mm. had that agave love in their life. If it was in high school, middle school, college, you know, post-college, whatever, everybody's had that. That love that was so sweet, but at the same time, it stung like hell. You mm-hmm. know? So, yeah. 
Gavi Love, man. Yo, man, that joint is, that's another one too, man. We three tracks in, dog. Like, listen, yo, y'all, I know y'all hearing this internets, man. So when y'all get this, y'all listen to this, y'all mean this show. Immediately just, you know what I mean? I pre- on YouTube, if you got the newer phones, you can listen to YouTube, but still go to like do something else, multitasking basically. Just go to just go to Bandcamp, man. Type in B, the, the letter B four, and then lasers. Click on it. Click on Growing Pains. Click pre-order. Click get you a cassette or some merch, and then stay tuned for like October thirteenth, man. It's gonna be on and popping. You know what I'm saying? You heard? Right. Yo, man. Right. So uh, listen, man. But when you was making this, when you was making this album, man, like, and and I know you had your, like, you, you know, you wanted this to be, a, a, you know, like a life type of, this is like a life album, man, if I, if I can say that, man. This is like speaking to, like, I know a lot of people's lives, you know, that are going through their journey, speaking about their lives, but the impact that you want this this album to make like what does that look like what does that feel like i want this album i just i want this album to to touch to touch the soul man like i want you to hear this and just know that i'm authentic in my creation creation you know i'm i'm, I'm authentic in my sample selection you know and the uh, moods that I'm trying to uh, convey upon you you know and hopefully not just make you feel but actually emotions and things that you feel that you are feeling or have felt before and it's a remembrance of that um, that's really what I want this album to do I want it to just be a journey for people to just remember all the shit that they've been through and all the stuff that they've made it through all the bullshit they've made it through all of the uh, uh, ups downs hurdles you know that you've pushed through and you are where you are today and if you are in that valley or you are going through some hard times right now or you are you know struggling right now that you know everything is going to be okay and you're gonna grow past that. There's all, but there's a whole bunch of love out here for you, and they continue to grow because that's life. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yo, man, let's bring this. And that, that brings us to "Growing Pains," which was the first single that you put out. What was that? I think it might have been two weeks ago <clears throat> that you put that single out. "Growing Pains," self-title of the track of the album as well. If you look at the album art for that, that's you know what? If I could, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just throw a sidebar real quick, like not, mm-hmm. not even too long, right? So, the the album art for Grown Pants, I love for that one, man. I made that too. The the it sucks because the only way you can get them to pop up is when you play the song, but it'll pop up <laughs> when he plays the song. Um, it's got a rose that's, that's coming out of the the ground for the single, but for the album, right? Um, mm-hmm. the full art, um, if you buy the cassette. There's actually a front. There's a there's a front, and then there's an inside on the insert. So there's actually a full portrait that I made. It's a wide portrait um, for um, the uh, for the album, um, and you see the kids playing basketball. And they're chilling, having a good time in the hood, and, and they are happy, you know. It, but mm-hmm. to your right, it, this this it, uh, this picture actually continues right and. Um, what's what ends up being on the right is a guy in a red hoodie, you know, hoodied up on the corner. You know what I'm saying? And it just depicts that growing pains that like one time we was all just happy as kids, just kicking, having a good time. You know what I mean? But life is always, you know, hard times are ahead for everybody. You know what I mean? The struggle is there for everybody. It was always there. We was just young. We didn't see it. You know, we all going to go through those growing pains. You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of like 
the whole point of that 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 image, man. So yeah, that's man. the cover right now is just the kids, you know, is the the young, you know, and that that you know you grow. It's wild, man. It's wild how I thought about this whole little album. This dope, man. <laughs> that's the- it's dope, man, because I was going that was gonna be my next question after we heard it, but you gave it to him already, man. Cause I was gonna ask you, I'm like, all right, it seemed like everybody's having fun. But yeah, we, we go listen to Growing Pains, but I wanna bring in <clears throat> I wanna bring in um the end of Agave Love, because the end of Agave Love leads into Growing Pains. I love the way you did that too, man. Just to, like you took yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. A lot of those, man. There's a lot of those, man. Where it leads, it's beautiful. Yeah, man. Let's get into growing pains. Like just the that the first time it was like, yo, what the fuck was that? <laughs> 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 like, yo, yo, man, this joint right here, this the you know what I mean the first single of the joint, man, Growing Pains. Yo, man, I was like, yo, we really about to be in for it, man. And you and you told me about this album a year ago. Yeah, I remember you told me about it on the show on your episode, man. Um. I can't remember which, I think it was episode 90, I want to say 92, 93. Yeah, so I remember you said, yo, I got some shit, boy. And then you let me hear and I was like, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 we're about to be in for it. So, yo, man, talk about this Growing Pains track, yo. Where did, where, how did it come about? How did it come together, yo? Growing Pains, man. (laughs) How did it come together? Well, th- this was around. I remember it was around when. Um, funny enough, that it was around when uh, Koala first dropped the uh, the AI the the stem splitter. Oh yeah! Shout out to Koala, so man. People don't know like <laughs> all of these, like anything you hear where I might have you hear like these crazy artifacts and stuff i just love the way it sounded at, at a time um so what i would do is i would use koala to like separate stems and then i would record them into the sp and then i would make the piece on the sp so that's how you got growing paints for sure this was before the um what is it serato stems no. mm-hmm. we yep. had that yet yeah <laughs> we had an instantaneous separation yet you had to wait mm. like five minutes with koala but it was what it was great um so growing pains dog it was just yo i heard the record i heard the song and it was it just it took me like i heard it in me i was immediately like i have to i have to shop this man like mm-hmm. i have to slice this up and, that, and that's that's exactly what i did and it just it took me somewhere man it was special i love the bounce of the hi-hats it's not really like a but a Right, right, yeah. Nice little swing, like to it, like it was kind of gave me that old like SP twelve hundred that kind of bounce swing, like not your normal, you know, uh, bounce. So, um, yeah, yeah, man. Growing pains was really special to me. That's why I chose for it to be the first track and the title track of the album. Growing pains really, it took me. It just takes me back every time I hear that, man. I just feel like I'm at home. I'm in Kenosha, man. Just like 17, trying to figure out what I'm trying to do in life. You know what I'm saying? Kicking it with my friends. 
it's just it's a whole bunch of bullshit i had no business being in just <laughs> right that's what that reminds me of man like it really does man oh uh-huh. okay yo for the internet man so for for y'all that don't know man kenosha is in wisconsin okay Jesus, so man. you know what i mean she says stay wisconsin stand up man one of your own is doing some crazy amazing things you know what i mean <laughs> yo yo man i'm i'm stuck on the artwork too man like yeah, the artwork i made all this man I made listen this, man <laughs> like listen see that bro? bro this shit that flower coming out the concrete with the jackson of come on man yeah <laughs> what <laughs> Yo, man. Who doing that? Yo, like, yo. Who doing that, man? Who doing that, man? And it feels so authentic. Yeah. That's, Out man. Authenticity. Man. Are you, are you just, have you been trained to do digital art or are you just learning as you go? Like, a lot of people don't know, like, for, for Fool's Paradise, man, and Carpet, I drew that shit, like, on my iPad with an iPad pencil. Mm. I remember drawing a day in my life, bro. I just decided I wanted to draw it, and I made art. It was fire, and I was like, you know what? I like this, you know. And yeah. So now I'm into AI art. AI art is a, a, so much fun. You know? Yeah. Next to prompt, trying different combinations, trying different words, different meanings. You know, using. Uh, you know, using different like uh, 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 descriptions of things and, and, and adding distance and you know different vantage points and stuff to create like you know um, the image that you're looking for. You know, hmm. it's, it's a lot of fun. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Do, do, hey, internet, don't be scared of this new AI. You know what I mean? Like. <clears throat> If used the wrong way, yes, it can be detrimental to humanity. But when we're talking about creativity, yo, know, it can only just help us even more, evolve even more, express ourselves even more if we if we let it. You know what I mean? So it's not being in soul control. We are the soul. We control it. You know what I mean? So y'all, y'all don't forget that, man. Don't be scared of this digital art stuff. You know what I mean? Because I'm learning about it right now too. I'm using camera. Um, and I'm just doing all types of crap. You know what I mean? So shout out Canva for dropping their new uh AI um, yep. text to text to image and they're about to roll out their text to video. Shout out Yeah. Shout out shout out AI. Uh, yeah, yes, shout right. out AI. <laughs> well AI, I, I, and, and I fuck with you. <laughs> I ain't talking Allen Iverson, bro. AI, yo, I'm mad. Fuck with you, fam. You yes. you yo, man. You heard? Yo, man. Listen. Yo, growing pains, man. Bro, I told growing you pains. Team, you heard? Yo, don't be, don't be the one. You know what I mean? That was like, yo, we told you about it. And then six months later, you're like, yo, I should have listened and just pre-ordered it or pre-ordered cassette you got any cassettes left no he don't got no more he about to sell out about to sell out man you know what i mean so you know stop playing I sent, um, um, just for you know so that, that you can see i sent the full i don't know if how easy it is for you to see the chat on zoom but um i sent the full artwork like so you can see the actual like how it's supposed to be depicted in full Mm, okay. If you want, if you want to take a view at it, you know, later or whatever, I'll take a look at it, man. You know, I will. Um. So, yo, let's let's get into face to face. Another joint, man. Another joint. Right yeah. Bruh. All right. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's play this joint that we're gonna talk about. We're gonna chop it up, man. So let's get to the end of growing pains. And I like the man, the lead-ins, dog. I like the lead-ins to the next track, man, because it gives a little bit of time for us to like digest it, but then get ready for what's next. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, man. Okay, hold on. Um, face to face, everybody.
That's it, yo. That's it, yo. That drone is definitely a yo. I can see putting this on in the club at live performances and just everybody like, yo, man. For the people that's not in the city, man, y'all have missed that one live. I most definitely pulled that one out. <laughs> Dorian's and the whole crowd is just waving and it's just all love and happiness. I'm gonna play that in LA. I'm playing the yeah. album for the Duck World show. Believe me, that you're gonna get the album across your head. Man, yo. So face to face, man. Yeah, that face-to-face. first of all, the title. Face to face. You know what I'm saying? The title of the track, man. So how the the title of the track means what? It means facing your fears, facing your challenges, facing mm. Maybe there might be something that you hate about yourself facing that, you know, with all strength and, and, and all heart, bro. Like, that's what that means. Um, like it says in the, during the chorus, I've come face to face with returns on my love. Mm. Like, that's real because I really have. That was something that really touched me with that chop was because I really have been face to face with someone just returning my love you know what I mean that means mm-hmm. what that means is someone that um you might have given your all to them you know uh and they just it's like yo I don't want this shit mm. <laughs> do, you, do you wrong do you dirty and I've done I've been I've been done like that in 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 in, in different ways you know in relationships and you know, friendships where you play or you get hustled or you get fucked over. Um, that person just returns the love that you give to them. Like, it don't even matter. Um, mm. You got to face that. You know what I'm saying? You got to face that. So that's 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 most definitely what that track means to me and what it meant to me when I was making it and what I was going through in my head when I was making that. Man. Man, that's just... Yo, the way that you were chopping your samples, you're chopping the words that mean the most to you in these joints, man. And that's what that's what this is all about when you talk about sampling. You know what I mean? Just grabbing the pieces that stand out to you that make you feel something and just, you know what I mean, creating something that relates. You know what I mean? Like, yo, man, I really appreciate the way you chop your joints, man. And then the drum, the drum work. You know what I mean? Like, you all your drums always be smacking, yo. Yeah, man. That's what it's about. You know, it gotta hit. It gotta have some 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 smack to it. You know, it's funny though. It it makes it hard to place the records though. I've mm. been dealing with a lot of denials from curators and some and, and shit. Like, they don't they don't like man. They don't be wanting to support it. Because mm. it hits too hard or it's like too this. It's always too this or too that or you got vocal chops in it or you I'm like, I don't understand. I don't understand. And you know, my wife, she the, once again, you gotta face that shit though. You can't mm. let that tear you down. You gotta face it, face up, head to head. You know, I, I get denied. So what? I get told no no, no, no. No, well, hey, I'm still selling cassettes. Well, hey, someone still said, yeah, you know, mm-hmm. say no, don't support me. That's cool. That's your loss. Your listeners should have heard this greatness, but you're mm-hmm. keeping it from them. So you got to live with that. And that's just how I look at this shit. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to continue to be me and continue to make beats like I want to make beats and continue to craft them how I feel it is right. Nobody can tell me what's right or wrong. Mm-hmm. So, you know. Just wanted to say that. Want to vent on that real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Yo, talk your shit, man. It's all right, yo. That's just, this is where you geek out, but you also get to talk your shit, man. Like, and just the shit that you overcame. You know what I mean? With people saying no, which is a part of the game anyway. But game. not letting it stop you, man. So I'm super proud of you, man. Yo, your support system is definitely. One of those great support systems as well, man. Like, man, yo, man. My, I know my wife, super supportive, man. Like, it just allows me to do, like, what I'm doing right now. Just talking to the different people 
and just stories, man. Like that's how this world works anyway. It's just stories. Everybody's got a different story. Let's hear different stories, man. Let's let's connect. This person may have been through something that you're going through right now. They got the tools, they got the gems. Hey, all right, here go these jewels, here go these gems that I was going through. Here's what I learned. Here's what you can do. Boom. Save save time. Save, you know what I mean? Lessen the um what do you call it? Learning curve. And then keep rocking, man. So yeah, man. Proud of you, bro. Yo. Let's talk about well, well no, let's get into this um cold motherfucking interlude. Cold motherfucking <laughs> interlude. Yo, shout out. This is all Ricky's favorite joint. So if you know for everybody listening right now, that means a lot. That's like a huge that's a huge mm. thing. Yo, talk like, uh, t- talk about talk about old Ricky's um old Ricky's part in this project as well too. Well, oh, so <laughs> oh, Ricky is um he was a huge inspiration behind this beat as well. Like the way I attacked this beat specifically, like was like I remember making this and I was like when I got the SP and I was like, man, oh Ricky's gonna be like you cold as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and I was like that's what I like I find like oh, man this beat was crazy man that shout out Roland for making the SP44 love you for this mm-hmm. uh, and um that's really yeah that's really where that and and, and I kind of wanted to like 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 I said this album um is about life you know it's about the growing pains of life and the different stages we go in in life right cold motherfucking interlude stands for more than just like an interlude or just like a, a, a short beat or whatever you want to put it it actually stands for talk this is your talk your shit phase in life right everybody's gotten to that point just like you said talk your sh- everybody's got to but this is your cocky phase this is your phase in life where can't nobody tell you shit you know uh-huh. I mean? like it's finna say i don't need no motherfucking filter i'm just a cold mother <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like straight up. Like and, and 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 I was talking to I forgot who I was chatting with about this beat specifically. I believe it was it was more than likely old Ricky. And I, I'll get to what old Ricky's uh what else he's done for this project as well. But I, I was talking about this specific interlude, man, and and it was um I was like the thing that people it'll probably go over people's heads is how I'm playing um, the effects um, as this intro, intro of this interlude happens, it's right. filtered, right? Mm-hmm. It's filtered. The beats filtered, the vocals are filtered, and then it's it goes away and it says, "I don't need no motherfucking filter. I'm just a cold mother." And then it drops in the full. You know what I mean? Like I'm actually <laughs> using those words. I'm telling you what I'm doing, though. You know, mm-hmm. I've actually had it filtered, isolator on, you know what I mean? Dropped it, took the filter off, you know what I mean? Played the vocal drop, dropped the beat. Like, we, I really did that, you know, and that. So it means more than just some words that are just there in the beginning of the track. It's just actually how I was performing it for you when you, when you, when that's, it got laid to wax. So, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. But, uh, and then, oh, Ricky's contribution to this album is he actually hand cut, printed, signed sealed delivered um these the cassettes that are up for sale right now um the polaroids that will also be included as a free gift in the cassettes um he helped me put all that together uh i created the artwork i created the uh separate images and everything um and then he helped put the uh the physical together um he also dubbed all of the cassettes by hand um at the crib so he's listening to this album probably more than me uh, <laughs> so uh I, I love you bro and i appreciate you for that man when you hear this just know that 100 uh, percent, man you family all the way from here in the midwest bro to the west coast bro ricky i appreciate you bro uh, yeah yeah let's get it let's get into this cold motherfucking interlude mm-hmm. yo let's get into it Kid, nigga, look, I mean, it hit me from any angle. Oh, nigga, I don't need no filter, nigga. I'm just a cold mother.
Whoa, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Yo, I don't need no internet. I don't need no filter. I'm just a cold motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, Yo, you can hit me from any angle. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, man. Shout out Erica Badu, man. Miss Badu, I love you, mama. Straight up. Yo, man. Yo, Straight man. Straight out Miss Badu for that, man. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Erica, man. What do you call her? Uh, big Belly, Big uh, Fat Belly Bella. Uh, belly. Uh, she got she got like 10 different, no, 10 different names. names, man. Like, yo, man, but. Yo, the great Erica Badu, man. We give you your flowers as well, man. Still being creative. Yeah, man. Shout out to her, man. So, yo, man, we gonna keep it rocking, man. Yo, this joint already, yo. If y'all not excited for this joint internet, you need to slap yourselves, wake up, pour some water on your face. Drink some water, but then pour some on your head and wake up. Wake up, man. Survive, man. Survive, man. 12 joints, straight heat rock mm. and then we talking off my mind which is the next track um and we and we just gonna play off my mind man because um and then we'll talk about off my mind right after that yo so let's get into it If I could have this on the, like, I was just thinking while I was playing, man. If I can do this with the SP, with the effects, and just, you know what I mean, echo out each track, yo, that shit would, oh, man, it would hit so much harder, too, yo. I'm going to do that in post-editing. Don't worry about it. I got you, fam. It's going to be heat. I ain't even worried, man. Yeah, yo, talk to me about Off My Mind, yo. Oh, my It's best to... It's been such a long, long time. Mm. That's my joint, man. So I, I believe I went digging at a. I believe I was at Record Wonderland, man. Um, shout out Record Wonderland. No, I got this from Miyagi Records. I remember. But shout out, shout out, uh, shout out Record Wonderland anyway, because uh, Hood Love came from Record Wonderland. But anyways, I was at Miyagi Records. It was twenty five percent record day. So I got a whole bunch of wax. And I remember I got Misty Blue. Um, Misty Blue, man. It was an amazing album, man. Um, I can't remember the artist. I'm terrible with, terrible with, uh, with names, man. But anyways, mm-hmm. um, that record right, right there. So I wanted to flip Misty Blue. It's a very popular, very well-known song. I normally try to stay away from like super popular well known songs but I tried I tried to flip it in a way where you never heard Misty Blue so Mm. you you almost forget that's that song at all you know what I mean um, that was that was what I was on with that one that was a challenge for me like I was like, and it was funny because I didn't know it was like a super, like, I didn't know how popular that song was until like after I made it. And I was like, oh shit, this is a really, my wife's like, yeah, that's a huge song. Like, you don't know that? I'm, like, oh, man, I'm young. I don't be knowing everything. I just love to collect records. Right. And, uh, that's, yeah, that's most definitely the, uh, the vibe, like the creation behind um, Off My Mind. And then the meaning behind that record to me, Um, The way I flipped it, uh, you know, sometimes you just want to get, like, bullshit off your mind. Um, You know, you go through shit, you know, you go through things in life, and it's like, it's like the vices in life, you know what I mean? Like, I drink, or you smoke weed, or, like, 
it just helps get the bullshit off your mind. Um, and that's, be, that's what that beat was for me. I believe I had a bad day that day, too. Like, shitty day at work. I was hella tired. Um, and I was able to, like, dig into the crates. I pulled that one out. And I made something beautiful out of it. And it made the album. Man, the, the emotional, like... Ain't, yo, ain't it crazy how you can have a bad day, you know what I mean, or a not-so-good day, and go home, and you get in your creative space, and then you come out with something that... It's like, yo, damn, like, maybe I should have more not-so-good days so I can come up with shit like this, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, yo, I mean... Yo, man, it be those ones, man, because I've I've gone through that. I'm pretty sure the people listening, my mutant family that's listening to this, can feel me when I say this. Like those those not so good days or challenging days, be having you creating the best music. You know what I mean for that day. You know what I mean. So. Been such a long time. Mm. Trying to get you <laughs> off of my mind. Yeah, man. Yo, man. Yo, and yo, y'all getting inside information. Yo, this is insider trading right now, yo, from B4 Lasers, man. You know what I'm saying? So, the way these yo. chops are is great, man. If y'all learn anything, man, stop looping, man. Chop that shit up. Mm, chop that shit up, yo. Chop it up, bro. What can you make out of that, man? I want to hear something different out of that. Mm. I want to hear something I heard, man. Mix and match the words. It does don't go that way. Real song don't play like that. You know. Up, <laughs> how can you turn it into something new? Mm. Straight up. That's what it's about, man. That's I think Knife Wonder was just talking about something too, man. About um, he was talking about you know, uh, people making music and the sampling and it's never it's never the machines or something oh man i can't remember he just put it out like he was like today or yesterday but yeah man when he when night wonder talks like majority of us we listen because he be he got the he got the jewels man he got the game you know so he been chopping sample records his whole career you know? yeah man it's not it's not all about the machines if that's what he was talking about it most definitely ain't about the machines bro you put me on koala i'm going crazy yeah <laughs> I mean, I got four different machines, five different machines here in front of me, man. Uh-huh. Yeah, you in a spaceship for real, yo. <laughs> talk about your talk about your creative space a little bit, man. Like, wh- how what does that feel like when you in your creative space and you got, you know, what I mean your your controls. You know what I mean your your spaceship controls just how you want them and everything like that. Like, what is what's the first thing you do when you sit down to create? <laughs> The first thing I do when I sit down is just power everything on and see the lights just flicker, you know. Um, I just try to soak that in. Um, um, and then I usually open up some anime, and you go lie, put it on mute. Some classic show I've seen a thousand times already, put it on mute, put it full screen in the background. And then I get to, I, got, I just started, I just got some uh, record uh like holders you know and then i just I, I hit the crates i got a bag back here my flip a beat club tote full of records from i don't even remember where i was at i think oh me and damo shout out damo do the most we went to record wonderland and i bought a bunch of stuff man i got some stuff here i ain't even flip yet man and my homie uh that dude nate he gave me some records i got like some uh you call it man i got doobie brothers some doobie brothers i got cheech and chong Sheesh. Sheesh. i got this tote right here i haven't even dug into this tote yet. yeah i get to dig it through record as i pick a record and i go to town the last record i was listening to yeah, asia's alpha record found some fire in here Mm. Never know what you'll find. Man. Never know, man. Just <laughs> put the record on. Just listen, you know. Listen and see what it's about. As of lately, I've really gotten into using the SP505. So the SP505 is like a bigger 303. Mm-hmm. And what I've been using the 505 for is just texture for the sample. So I'll record the records in um, 
like a lower sample rate like because uh, you can't do that on the 404 Mach 2 so I've been using the 404 Mach 2 as like an MPC and uh, I use the SP505 as like an S950 and basically I record in a different sample rate I'll choose what I want so either uh, long or low fi which is either 11 uh, 11k or like 22k sample rate um, and record it in I'm able to get like a grittier texture and sound versus just that super clean like you even hear on this album right now like personally all the samples are pretty like clean like everything is super clean um, and that's that you know SP Koala it doesn't do any kind of conversion there's no input saturation like you can't like drive inputs and stuff like that just, you can on a 4.4 like obviously it does like a soft clipping but it doesn't sound the same as the older the older 505s 303s 202s it just doesn't sound the same 404 it doesn't sound the same so um, most definitely this new one it's built to be really clean so I'm like yo what's good so I used the 505 for some color on the samples record them in and then record those you know into the 404 and then get the chopping up it's great kind of gives me that mpc s950 kind of workflow feel um that you would normally you would normally see cats do with that kind of equipment except for this is my technique with it this is how i like, like it so yeah that's pretty much my uh, my setup i use the digitone for bases boom 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 doo -doo 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 -doo. and then uh yeah my Benny Dub Digi Siren, uh, my Benny Dub, I said Digi Siren, Benny Dub Analog Siren Generator, um, which is a dub siren, and uh, that runs into a really dope reverb from uh, CM, which is like Kursak Music, it's called Resound, and I use that as the reverb of my siren delay, as a space echo delay built in. Um, I like all analog. Man, I like to try to stay out of the Dawes when I'm making beats. Mm -hmm. just, you know. It gives you, it gives the music more character too. You know what I mean? Not just having like some VSTs and stuff like that. It's like these these are effects that are built into these machines when they were made. You know what I mean? So, 100%. yeah, man, it's different, man. So, man, um, yeah, I love hearing y'all stories about how y'all, you know, y'all setups, like the the way y'all. The way y'all create, what y'all create with, and what y'all do to these different things. And, you know, I'm just trying to catch up to, you know what I mean? Get minds like, ah, you know, I'm, I'm still working on that. I'm still working on sound stuff, but, working, but yo, you're yeah, man. Fire, man. Appreciate that, man. Keep reaching for the top, man. I still got some little things I want to do, um, but I finally got my desk like fully set up, like two. Two tables, so now I got two tables, so I have more room and space, and it's just real, real nice now, man. I sit in front of this, I feel like I'm in a command center. So. Yeah, man. <laughs> Yo, your, does your command center have a name? Mm, unique Studios, I guess. Still, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got you. Yo, okay, so you uh, go, man. Um, let's get into hood love, man. We gonna we gonna get in from off my mind and roll right into her love and then we'll talk you, about her love i think you gotta cry together before her love but cry oh yeah you're right you're right you're right you're right um cry together is right after um off my mind all right so we'll go into cry together mono cut mono cut yes sir all right let's get it Man, I'm <laughs> listen, listen. Yo, I'm Man. sitting here like, mm, I'm like, oh my, yo, this joint funky, yo. That's my yo, favorite. man. That's another, another standout joint, man. And that is a 
that is a popular sample, but the way you flipped it, you made that shit your own, man. Like, yo, let's talk about Cry Together, man. Cry Together. So Cry Together is most definitely a Duck World flip. Um, that mm. was a Duck World sample flip challenge. It, that was a Duck Girl selection. I remember mm. um, that was 100% one of the first beats I made on the 404. That was, again, that was like number like two or three, maybe. Um, uh, that beat, man, it means a lot to me. That's why I didn't just do it as a sample for Chance. I actually put that one on the album because it's it really meant like that last night, sweet last night. Oh. Oh, oh, my. We oh. Yep. Yo, like I've been there. Come on, man. You ain't a real cat, man. Unless you kid it. You I've cried with my girl, man. Like we've been through it, man. We've we have we have We've had to face to face. We've had to face that shit. Right. You know, you got to work through your problems. You got to work through your issues. You got to work through your disagreements. You got to work through the pain, the mistakes. And, and and that's this is what you get to, man. You cry together and then it flows right into some hood love. You know what I mean? Like, all that shit go together, baby. Mm, I like what you did there. Like greens and candy yam with some mac and cheese. You heard it go together, man. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I like what you, yo, man. Oh, man. I gotta, yo. As soon as we get done this, man, I gotta get this cassette, man. Because here's the thing, man. When we, when I like have, you know, grandkids eventually, or even when I, even when like people come and be like, "Yo, what you be listening to these days?" I gotta pull out this joint, man. I gotta play this joint, man. Like, it's yo, it's gonna hit them like, "Yo, who made this?" I'm like, "Yo, my guy, man, B4 and Lasers, man." Like, man, I've been doing this for three years, yo. Y'all better catch up, yo. Like, we got real mutants out here. B4 and Lasers is one of the mutants, man. Like, come on, man. And that's what it's about with the analog mediums, man. It's not that, yo, y'all being old, y'all making cassettes. Nah, man, when you gone, you know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers ain't gonna pay for your distro kid for your, for, uh, forever, bro. <laughs> right, yeah, right. It's, it's gonna be gone, cuz. And it's not gonna be on Spotify. And it's not gonna be on Apple Music. And you're gonna be gone. And you're just a memory. But you mm. actually have, like, hard copies of things man there's just that much of a chance that just like i get these records and i sample these records that somewhere down the line someone finds these cassettes bro and somebody listens to these cassettes or like my more eternal album someone plays my record you know like that's what it's about you know the longevity things ain't forever man the, so i just try to leave something you know, and that's that's why I've been doing it. How I'm doing it right now. Man. Yo, man. <clears throat> Yo. <laughs> cry cry together, right? And then we go into hood love. Cause they connected. Everything's connected, right? So let's get into hood love. Down, baby, that's one of my natural reflexes. Oh, so what you like being in my way? Yo, that switch up that you did right there, my guy, yo. I said, oh, man. <laughs> yo. Yeah. Yo. Hood love, yo. Hood love. Hood love. We cry together. We make up some hood love. You know what I mean? Mm. Everybody mm. been through these, man. This is growing pain. This is why it all relates. Yep. Real. Everybody had their heart broken. Yo, girl broke your heart. 
she, you know what I'm saying? You okay. y'all y'all going through it. You know what I'm saying? Then y'all y'all work it out. Y'all back together. It's just, just some hood love. You know what I'm <laughs> oh, so you like being in my way? What you think? Uh, <laughs> straight up, man. Shout out to uh, uh, Menace to Society, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was trying to remember the movie that was from, <laughs> yo. I kept, I kept thinking going back to um, when Lorenz Tate was a teenager and they went to the beach and then he was talking to an older girl, but that wasn't the movie, though. But um, He in that movie, though. Yeah, he is in that movie. He did a oh, lot dog. of freaking movies. Oh, dog. <laughs> oh, dog, man. Yo, man. I like the way you you just put these together. The way that you, um, what do we call it? We call it, uh, oh, man, how do you organize the tracks? Um, oh, man. I'm losing it. How you put them in order? Um, Chronologically, or, I don't know. Oh man, it didn't come to me. Anyway, yo man, but just the way you put the tracks together from start the very first one to lead into the the second, third, fourth, fifth. You know what I mean? Like just the way you did that, man. You did a great job, yo. Is that? Did you do that solely? Yeah. Yeah, nice. man. Good job, man. Good freaking job, man. Man, and then my favorite thing. He ain't say thing. My favorite thing. What is it? Uh, me. Me fifteen. <laughs> fifteen. Yes, sir. I was clouded, man. This my girl. That this one right here. This for unique Monique, man. This my girl. This is my girl. When I made this, I just I thought about her the whole time. She loved it. I remember I made this on Koala. This is a Koala sample joint, and I was chilling in right here in this very spot that I'm in right now. Um, up yo man lilac flower lilac flower man let's get into uh me fave ting lilac flower. <laughs> yo Y'all want to hear that? Cause he ain't even get into, yo. The this it's like it's building up, yo. That's what this. That's yeah, man. That drone is. I, yeah, I might have to play that for my wife, man. Yo, yo, <laughs> yo. I think that's what yo. That, that's what that one was about. Oh, I wanted it like it's been hard. It's been not hard, but it's been a heavy nine tracks. So I'm like, I. I after this hood love, right? Mm-hmm. What there isn't isn't there always that moment of softness, that moment of gentleness? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, and that's mm-hmm. what I wanted that to. Be. Also, you know, remembering another thing about this track, your favorite team is to humble yourself, right? If you listen to the sample, it says. Are, li- are lilacs still your favorite flower? Because I picked them and brought them in. So, like, humble uh-huh. yourself. Show your girl some love, man. Do something for her. For you. Uh-huh. That's uh-huh. Yo, y'all heard? Yo, man. Let's... <laughs> Yo, you know, the, the crazy thing is we're talking about that right now, and I was just talking to my wife about how Dr. Ruth, who's passed away, rest in peace. You, I don't know if everybody remembered Dr. Ruth, but it was an older lady, an elder, and she was always talking about relationships. She was always talking about, you know, sex. And I was, as a kid, I'm looking at Dr. Ruth like, um, why is this old lady like talking about sex and you know I me mean, and love and compassion and you know grace and all that type of stuff? But now I get it, you know, like. 
That's what we need, man. We need it. Can't always be hard all the time, man. It's gotta be softness. It's gotta be balanced. You know what I mean? Exactly. Balance, man. Yo, man. All right, me fifteen, and then we get into all to you, which is the second to the last track, man. Talk about all to you before we get into it, real quick. All to you, man. All to you. It it's just like it is what it exactly what it says, man. Like that's why, like I, I wanted everyone to know, like with this track, my wife fans potential fans that's why i'm giving my all to you because i love what i do i love y'all you know and i want to lay it all on the line and that's what all to you embodies for me you know what i mean mm. you never wake up in no industry in no music industry i ain't, I ain't got no family in this I ain't got no ties to no music industry. Just me. I've made my way. I've paid my way in this. That that slides into track twelve. The reasons, but everything plays off one another. The way I laid this album out, every track plays off the one before it. Um, when you really look at it like that. In my head, yeah. right? You're in love. Mm-hmm. Since I met you, since I met you, things have been. Uh, since I met you almost feels a bit chaotic you know what I'm saying then agave love that same sweet love it kind of calms you down but it also stings sting you know life is shit's hard relationships are hard you know then y'all go through breakups y'all go through pain you go through pain you lost family members you lost friends those are the growing pains of life well guess what you gotta face those face to face you know what I mean and not you've been at your worst you've been at your bottom man you're a cold motherfucker you don't need nobody else you can do this shit they can hit you from any angle you know what I mean you don't need no filter you do this shit you know and that slides into off my mind you see what I'm saying now I'm just trying to get all that bullshit off my mind maybe roll up some weed maybe pull up some drink maybe hit a ride go kick it with the homies hit the club off my mind but then no matter what you do no matter what vice you partake in, everything you've been through, if you haven't dealt with it, is still there. Sometimes mm-hmm. you need to cry. Sometimes you need to cry together. Those things will help you continue to grow. And we all need a little bit of hood love. Where it ain't too sweet, it ain't too soft. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's, 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 it's right, right there in the middle. That's that hood love, you know? And then be 15. Like I said, remember to humble yourself. That's, that's that's a key part in, in the growing pains of, of life, at least in my life, is I had to remember to remain humble. People tell me I'm too humble, but whatever, man. I'd rather be a humble giant than a dickhead. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. you, you lay it all on the line. You don't leave nothing, no stone unturned. When you play your music on stage, you leave it all there. They know you was there. When you do your job, you give it 100%. Give it 110%. You love your wife, love your wife 120%. You know what I mean? If you're good, if you're loving your husband, vice versa, whatever, give it 120%. Whatever you're doing, you're an artist, you're a painter, you're a musician, you're a broker, doesn't matter. You know, lay it all on the line because you only live once. So give it 125%, you know? And then it all round, rounds out to the reasons. Reasons we're here. You know what I mean? We built this. We grinded for this. We dug for this. We shined for this. We worked for this. And that's what that embodies. It's just another day. Living in the hood. Just another day around the way. Mm. Mm. Yo, man. You giving up crazy, crazy game right now, man. Like, yo, I got to I gotta include these in, uh, you know what I mean, my guest recommendations part on that too, man. Just... Just giving it 110 percent man like you know what i mean not 80 percent no give it your all man in everything that you do yo. man that's big time man that's big that shows your maturity too man like yo man yo all right let's get it 
Yo, man, we can talk about this for hours, dog. Um, let's get into all to you, and then we're gonna come back with the reasons um right after that, yo. The reasons is that he's here. <laughs> <laughs> Slide. You better run that run shit run back, back, fool. Baseline is dumb. Them drums is dumb. dumb. The, the yo, the hi hats is dumb. Like the sample is. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah. All to you, everybody. Listen, man. We are talking to B Four Lasers, man. He yeah. got the new album coming out, Growing Pains, October thirteenth. He next got the digit. Yeah, you know I mean, next week, man. Next he got week, the. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, if, by the time y'all get to the end of this, man, if y'all ain't hyped to get this joint, man, pre order that joint, pre order the merch. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to be coming out on Bandcamp. It's going to be coming out on SoundCloud. It's going to be coming out on the DSPs. Deserve wherever you need it. Oh, wherever, you, <laughs> wherever you need it. Yo, you man. Get me from any angle. <laughs> yo, <laughs> Mike, yo, man, yo, oh man, I love this job, man. I love this job, yo. What a Woo. job this is! Shout yo, yo, man. So the reasons we're gonna play the reasons, and then after that, we'll talk about how people can. Link up, uh, talk, uh, follow you on social media, websites, support, uh, beat makers toolbox, uh, flip a beat club, like everything else. Where you're going to be at, um, next week, and you know, your future for the rest of the 2023 into 2024. I know you got more because we, we, you played me one. One or two tracks from the last um, this joint that's gonna be coming out special. So, I can't even. I, I want to say it, but I can't, man. So we gonna stick with girl pains, yo. Let's get yeah, into. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy <laughs> one. They yeah, that, yeah, man, yo. Let's get into the reasons featuring B4 Lasers' own unique Monique. Let's get it. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, man. I gotta, I gotta say something, man. You flipped the D'Angelo sample, yo, and did it. I think that's a D'Angelo sample, man. Um, the way you did that joint, man, is like, yo, like I would have never is thought about. To, I don't know if that's D'Angelo. It might be. It's it just maybe it just sound like him, yo. But yo, man, it's it sound. It got the little D'Angelo. You know what I mean? Yeah, yo, man. Nice. Yeah, man. Let me. All right. Let me go back, man. I was just thinking about that. Give it my heart. You, 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 you. There's a reason why I'm around a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? I didn't just wake up into this shit. You feel me? Like, I'm not connected with no music industry. is an amazing closeout joint yo like it, it's it's a feel-good joint man it brings everything full circle man 
from the oh man so, so the reasons you already talked about it was that unique monique um singing nah so wait hold on me, she actually helped me make that one so it was, oh, word uh, yeah, yeah yeah so i believe i believe this was a mash of two songs so the first sample if i remember correctly it was like some r kelly and that's the keys you're hearing like the road kind of sound and then she was like i want you to put in there that queen latifah like that just another day living in the hood just another day on the way yeah Good today. Good today. Yeah. Good today. Good today. Good today. <laughs> so that's also like layered in there. It's subtle, but you know, if you listen to it with earbuds, if you listen to it with earbuds, you 100 percent will um will hear the, the the vibes. So I thought it was only right to feature my wife, you know. She helped me cook up. She supports me on a lot of things that I make. But you know, that one was special because we sat there and we made it together. Wow. Wow. So is there going to be a a joint, a, you know what I mean, a B4 Lasers, Unique Monique, you know what I mean, collab album coming out eventually? Shoot, man. I wouldn't be too far-fetched. <laughs> Yo. You got something yeah. special coming, too, with the, um, with the Duck World Weekly Sample Flip Challenge with her, too. I'm going to let her curate for her birthday. So be on the lookout for that. I won't drop in when it happens y'all will be shocked and surprised but it was definitely gonna curate a month of samples for y'all so get ready for that the wife is gonna do the digging yo man amazing man i gotta i gotta read this um <clears throat> the description real quick man and it's just i have to man so B4 Lasers brings us his fourth full length release Growing Pains which is musical odyssey of resilience and reflection this remarkable album emerges as a compelling fusion of hip-hop lo-fi and instrumental boom back paying homage to the iconic sounds of jay dilla the alchemist large professor submerse long arm o ricky and dibiase while crafting a distinctive narrative that is undeniably his own man 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 yo listen man man. and and, and Ah. a lot of people like like like, i'm and i ain't these ain't just spewing like bullshit like jay dilla highly inspired with the micro chops highly inspired with some of the drum programming the alchemist right highly inspired with simplicity like you heard on me fave tank um large professor uh the warmth the vibrancy that i was hugely inspired when listening to like old nas and omatic like a huge inspiration with that man that was one of my favorite beat makers growing up submerse man i love the way this guy this kid man he's a huge inspiration to me when it just comes to what samples he'll choose and how it flipped them speeding them up and, and like all to you um long arm uh, i always love how he incorporates real instru- instruments into some of his sample based productions so like in my head um oh ricky like bro the homie is just one of the biggest inspirations of life to me bro like i fucking i love that fucking dude man like oh. just in general like inspiration on creating uh an entire project that's uh creative you know what I'm saying? Artwork, um, laying it out properly, how things flow from track to track to track to track like that. Everything glues together. Like, who, like, and mad inspired by oh, Ricky from that. And Dibiase, bro, not being scared to venture out and try to flip some new things, to be different, to reach out and, and to just be completely distinctive. Um, and you get a lot of that on this album where there's tracks where it's like, bro, like, I can't believe a dude even, like, flipped that. Like, Hood Love. Like, that's a crazy fucking flip. I've never even heard anybody flip that before. Or, once again, Me Fave Ting. That's a wild way to flip something. There's no snare. You know what I mean? It's just Congos playing with 
a kick and a bass and I just left it at that and I let that live on its own um, while also having you know all to you hard drums that are just boom, 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 like just straight across your dome piece like you know so all these cats were a huge inspiration to me man um, I'm crafting this so, so yeah man. Man, just words man trying to name drop or something that's real right Man, all of them. <clears throat> I I don't know who Submerse is or Longarm, but I'm gonna go back and start going down the rabbit hole, man. And um, but man, from my last interview, those were two of my. You were like, who are some of your favorite producers of all time? Or if you had to give like a top five or top ten or something like that, I think mm-hmm. both of them were in that top ten or top five, whatever it is. Uh, most definitely Longarm. You know wow. The branches, that album, bro, it's, it's insane. <laughs> yo, yo, man, inspiration, man, from everywhere, man. Anything can be inspiration, man. And these, the, the ones that you've named, man, I can, I can, man, I can hear them like just not on, not on some ego shit, but it's like you. Are taking their what they've done, just and learning what they've done, their techniques, their you know what I mean little tactics, their skills, and then taking little tweak, tweaking it to your own, and then make it your own, and that's what we get in Growing Pains, man. Growing Pains, October thirteenth, is it coming out at midnight? Oh, you you know it. it'll be out October twelfth, midnight. Hey, yes. yo, let's go. Do it <laughs> so. Like that. Baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I wouldn't even be surprised if in my head was out everywhere right now. Probably is. Um, have I seen you today? Friday, so I okay. Wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised because you know how it be with these DSPs and songs. Them joints be out. <laughs> yeah, early. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It'd be like yeah. you say midnight. That joint out at nine forty-five. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, man. Yeah, so everybody, I want everybody to tap in, man. October 13th, there's a Bandcamp listening session as well, man. So go to, um, let me make sure I got this right. Is it b4lasers.bandcamp.com or did you name it something else? Yeah, so it is b4lasers.bandcamp.com. It's also b4lasers.club. Right. Okay, and then go there, click on the um, live and then go ahead and RSVP. All right. So when you RSVP, well, you got to be logged into Bandcamp. So if you ain't got a Bandcamp account, go ahead and create one, man. There's there's so much dope, am- amazing music on Bandcamp, man. Like, it's, it's a un. I, I, I champion it a lot because I feel like the DSPs get super crowded with bullshit. You know what I mean? But as Bandcamp, man, I feel like the artists take this very seriously, man. It's not just bullshit that they're putting up there, man, trying to get ears to listen to them. So, man, B4 Lasers is definitely one of them ones that takes it very seriously, puts us all into it. You know what I mean? As we got from one of the one of the standout tracks, man. All, all of these joints, was it 12 tracks? 12 tracks, um, 21 minutes and 15 seconds. Yo, that's that's a quick ride to the store and back, yo, know, when you bump in this, yo, and you're gonna feel it's you're gonna feel a way. You're gonna feel different. You're gonna start, I mean, thinking about things differently. Um, just backing up. You know how they say, you know, when you look at something close, it's not you don't get the perspective, but when you step back and look at how far you've come, the whole big picture, the picture becomes a lot clearer. Like, yo, I like you. Damn, damn! I'm, I, you know, I really did go through that, and I'm still alive. I'm still kicking. I'm still kicking. That's right, man. Still yo, going. Still, going. still going, still going strong. <laughs> I'm tracks sprinkled out over wax. Yo, yo, he did the yo. So before lasers, man. Yeah, you know I mean, producer, digital artist, event coordinator, proud husband, uh, unique studios, 
uh, founder, uh, engineer. What else? What else we got, man? Uh, um, damn. <laughs> you know what I mean? A1. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Creator, you know what I'm saying? Music enthusiast. Yo, how can how can people find you? Where can people tap into your music? You know what I mean? Um, the B number four L A S E R S. That's everywhere. So, oh, my bad. Hey, like, hold on, hold on. That's a B. The number four L A S E R S. Uh, everywhere. Um, you can find me on Super Simple, straightforward man. I'm like that on Instagram, Twitter, Bandcamp, Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer. Title, whatever you use, YouTube, um, SoundCloud, whatever, Facebook, whatever. Um, mm-hmm. That's where we at. So you, you can always find me there, and I'm always making new music. I mean, I just put out a surprise album um, on SoundCloud just for the love. Uh, I dropped it the other like two days ago. It was called uh, "How Good It, How Beautiful It Is to Let Go." I believe was the name of it. Oh, that's what that. Okay, yeah. I was like, yo, I don't know about this album, yo. Yeah, what the just, heck? <laughs> on GP, I was like, you know what? I have a bunch of stuff that um, that we've uh, had from you know, Flip a B Club and uh, Duck World Sample Flip Challenges. Um, I'm like, why not compile this, make some cool artwork, and put it out? So that's 18 tracks, man. 18 tracks of just straight bops across your noggin man so you know you can find that on soundcloud it's free um, no, no charge eventually it'll be out everywhere i'll put it out on all streaming platforms just for uh, the vibe there's a super dope uh feel it in the air beanie seagull flip that you'll be able to catch on there man and you know tap in with us man we, we're making music man we're making more than just bleeps and bloops man we're really <laughs> that you can relate with man that you can vibe with that you can connect with man so we yeah can... yeah he said <laughs> more than more than bleeps and bloops man <laughs> yo yo man shout out to shout out to you first of all for creating some amazing this is this is this is gonna be an emotional one man that you know how you know how you had that music and you listened to it and it was you felt something this is one of them ones where when the listener listens to it, they going they gonna feel it, man. So shout out to you, you know, doing the drums, the samples, the bass, the arrangements, the birthplace, doing the vocals, Ryan Svezden, however you say the Ryan S V. Um yeah, doing the trumpet. Shout out to Unique Monique, man, doing the A and R, doing the co production, doing the management, you know what I mean? You doing the artwork the and the design. The wife for true. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna use that. Yeah, I'm gonna use that, man. Yo, <laughs> yeah, man. Friend, man. She's a goat. She's the goat. The goat, unique, Monique, man. Yo, any final thoughts for the internet's getting ready to tap into Growing Pains coming out on October 13th? Man, love yourself, love yourself. You know, you know. Love yourself, love yourself. Love the ones love around, the ones you. around you. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Yeah. That's, 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 my that's my word. word. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love the ones. Love the ones you. around you. And believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is.
can't tell like younger kids or other producers like, that's cheating. You can't really be said, but bro, like when it comes to this producing shit, you can do whatever you want. You've been listening to the Rep Show podcast. Be sure to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Remember three things. Believe in your music. Take care of your mentals. Become the best version of yourself. Until the next one, Golden Mind signing off. Peace and love you. To be the best, you got to work overtime. To be the best, you got to work overtime. These young boys get better. This is not like the NBA when you can retire. Like this is, you have to keep going. Yeah.